Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the video. This video is for beginners. In this video I'll be teaching you essentially how to connect, read, write bulk data into Aurora Postgres SQL using Python. I'll also show you how to connect using PG Admin. I'll also show you how to essentially create a cluster. So if you are a beginner and you are asked to work on Aurora Postgres SQL and you have completely no idea, I think this guide will really help you in terms of connecting and just getting started with Python. So join me uh, in this short video where I'll be walking you over the steps. So let's get started with the video. The first step is very, very straightforward. I'm gonna head over to the RDS and I'm gonna create my first cluster. Head over to the database, click on the orange button that says create database. And from here, we're gonna select the Aurora. And here we're gonna select the Postgres. Uh, this option is important. And here we'll select the dev test. Uh, rest everything will be leaving to default. Please uh, take a note of these passwords because you will need that. So that's my username. And for the password, I'll be using this password. Keep a note of that. This will be required as I said. So I'm gonna copy this password. And once I'm done with that, uh, I'll leave everything else to the default. I'll use the default VPC. I'm gonna click on yes for the public access and then let's create our Aurora cluster. I'll resume once the cluster is ready. All right, guys, my cluster is ready. Uh, let me show you my screen. As you can see, both are available. Now copy the writer endpoint, which you can see here. It says writer instance, copy that. And essentially paste that on a notepad. You will need this later on, okay? Now what you want to do is basically once you have that download a tool called PG admin which will allow you to essentially connect to Aurora Postgres SQL. Again you may use whatever tool you like. Uh, this is exactly what you would see. Click on register and then click on server and then here we're going to name this as YouTube Learn, right? And then copy the writer endpoint, go to the connection and dump that on the host section. Leave everything to default. If you have a custom username and password, please do put that. I'm gonna do that here. And then click on save. And congratulations, now I'm connected to my PostgreSQL. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a simple table and insert data using Python. All right, that's easy. Now let's as essentially connect uh, using Python, right? I have all the steps listed and I have also made a small class for you. So it becomes very, very easy, which takes care of error handling and logging. Again, uh, here you can see I have um, all the snippets that you can follow step by step. So we're simply gonna follow that, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create an instance of a class database Aurora. So coming to the Python code, again, I have simply copy pasted all the code, right? And now I'm essentially creating an instance. So if you come to the GitHub, there's a file called helper.py, simply just copy paste your code, uh, all the classes into, you know, your main source file. Um, basically, now it's actually very easy. Here you can see I'm creating a table called uh, users, right? And then I'm gonna uh, use helper.execute, right? So basically I wrote a class for you uh, over here, if you observe. Uh, so to get data, execute queries, get data in batch, pagination, uh, insert many, right? So I have written all these helper function for you. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create this table, right? And then we're gonna call the execute command. So we're gonna run that. And sure enough, the table has been created. So if we go back to the table, if I refresh, and here you can see the user table. Now let's try to insert data into this. Again, it is very, very easy. Um, here I have given you snippets, right? So I'm gonna come here and I'm simply gonna copy this code. And I'll remove the previous code. Uh, I'll remove this particular part. Again, very straightforward, insert into public.user. We are inserting into a table. These are the columns and these are the placeholder. Here is my JSON dictionary that I am essentially using. Again, some fake data. And then I'm essentially calling uh, a method called insert many that I have written. So we'll pass in the query and the values. The values are a list of tuples. So now uh, let's run this. And sure enough, it did work. And now essentially if you come and right click here and basically we're gonna say all rows. So now you should see the data in your um, Aurora PostgreSQL, which is absolutely great. So we'll, uh, we'll just run this code a little bit more, you know, like four or five times so that we, we just have some data to play with. Okay, I guess that's enough. Now 
I'll show you how to essentially read all the data in a paginated way, uh, right? So again, the snippet is there on the GitHub, so I'm simply following the steps here, right? So I, I, I assume that it should be pretty straightforward for you now. So here you can see I'm, I'm calling a method called get data in batches. I'm providing my query and then I'm providing the size attribute. This basically means that I'm telling Aurora that, hey, or basically I'm telling my Python that, hey, when you read data, give me two uh, data attribute at a time. So it's gonna paginate across uh, in a nice way. If you observe, I've written all this code for you, so you don't have to worry. It, it There's a word called yield. Basically, it returns a generator, which is much more efficient, right? So now let's try to run this query and see if you're able to get the data from that table. And, the, and as you can see now, I'm able to get all the data in a paginated way uh, with, this, uh, uh, with this method, get data batch. I encourage you to again check these snippets out. So basically, if you are a new, new uh, newbie or a beginner, this would really, really help you. You know, you don't have to basically search or go to Stack Overflow and, and, and you know, spend several hours there. So this is a very basic tutorial where I showed you how to create a cluster, how to connect to the cluster using PG admin, and then essentially how to insert, write, and read data in a paginated way uh, from Aurora PostgreSQL using Python. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any more questions, please let you know. Please let me know your question in the comments, and do share this video with the beginners who are finding it hard to work with Aurora PostgreSQL. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All the resources are in the description. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. I'll see you guys in the next video.